We really should stop this fighting. Otherwise, we'll miss the fireworks. There won't be any fireworks. And here we go. You got the touch. You got the power. Oh, don't worry. It's nothing but Kool Aid in there. It's nothing serious. Just, just for decorations. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, people. This is your boy Musa Azakar, bringing you flame. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. You be left in that loop every time your boy drop that content. Shout out to the black YouTube out there. First of all, long live Lord Kevin Samuels, man. Long. Live Lord Kevin Samuels, who resurrected the black man. Know how to be with these young ladies out here. You feel me? Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, the lead attorney. J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, too raw for sports, too raw for TV. Oh, sister be bringing it to you, feel me? The Crimson Cure be bringing it. Pink Book Lessons, Sister Dee Dee. Oh, yeah, and Melanie King. Now, fellas, make sure. I stay focused, keep your eyes to the ground when you're looking at Melanie King, because, man, she like 10 plus 5 pieces, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is on that. <laughs> it is what it is on that. But, uh, yeah, man, I want to cook. I want to cook on a little bit of my childhood. Yeah, we had a, a cartoon called The Transformers to where these robots transforming the different d disguises to trick the opposition and yet you had a race of Autobots and the Decepticons the Decepticons were so called bad and the Autobots were the so called protectors and it just seemed like the Decepticons wanted to conquer and take over and get energy and from every various place from anywhere it may count you know what I'm saying they gonna get the job done or try to make an attempt anyway. You know what I'm saying? By any means necessary, they gonna play the Brother Malcolm role. <laughs> then you got the Honorable Autobots who want to protect and serve like the cops supposed to be doing. But they realize they have to get down and dirty to take care of business. You feel me? That's just what it is. That's just what it is. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Well, the cartoon came out in 19, what was that, 84-ish? And, you know, we had our episodes, and then the children love Transformers, like one of the biggest selling toys ever. Then we had the animated movie come out. Oh, Lord. It messed up some of my, some of my childhood, man, because, you know, they killed Optimus Prime. Why the hell are you going to kill Optimus Prime in the movie? A child, they did that shit. They did that, and after they killed Prime, they I'm, they because they wanted to do it to come out with more, more toys. But once they did that, I'm sure the decline in toys probably went down, and they were really trying to advertise it. And to tell the truth, like the the, the the second generation or third generation, whatever the fuck it was, the cartoon sucked. The cartoon sucked ass. I'm looking at one of the episodes with my son, man. I'm looking at whoever drew this shit was garbage. The Generation 1 shit looked way better than some of the Generation 3 shit. That shit looked horrible. Or is it just me? I'm going to throw up one of the episodes they had. Man. It's just like, man, what the fuck is this? I could have drew sh this shit better than this. But as children, we looked at this shit. We had to use our imagination. See, y'all don't know how good y'all got, man. <laughs> y'all don't know how good y'all got. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. So they had the movie, man. They killed Optimus Prime to come out with these various toys. And the, and the Matrix of Leadership was passed on to Hot Rod, which is a new Transformer. Then he had to buy another one because he turned into Optimus, Optimus Prime. You know, they knew what they were doing. You know what I'm saying? But they realized the shit sucked ass, though. 
It sucked ass. As a fan, it sucked ass. But now they are really trying to redo everything now, man. The title for the upcoming animated Transformer film, which is set to release in theaters, in theaters now, July the 19th, 2024, has finally been announced. The prequel that is set to explore the early relationship between Optimus Prime and Megatron is officially titled Transformers 1. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, y'all leave me some comments. Let me know who y'all want to see portray the actors. I think I've seen a couple of them. I think I want to see Thor character. Well, I can't think of his name. Lawrence Fishburne and a couple other people. Let's see. Let me see here. Let me, let me see. 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 Ooh. Ooh. No, they ain't got that on there, but it's going to be right. You better believe it. It's going to be right. They better make that motherfucker right. Hey, battle. <laughs> this is your boy Moose. Do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace and bottle hackers, people.